Why is light faster than sound? That's my science question. I'm Brandon Walker. I, um, I'm a grad student, a uh, PhD grad student in medical physics at UW-Madison, and I'm also a research assistant at, at Morgridge. I work in medical engineering. So light and sound are, are actually very different. Um, uh, sound sound is, is actually a, a mechanical disturbance through air. So if you imagine a bunch of molecules bouncing around in the air, that's, you, you need a medium for sound. And if you hit something or you make a fast motion, the molecule, molecules that you push are going to hit the ones in front of it. And you're going to get this disturbance in the direction of travel of however you made the initial motion. And that's going to propagate through the medium. Sound, it, it depends on the medium through which it travels. Um, the speed of sound through air is about 340 meters per second. It's faster through water and it's even faster through steel. It depends on the density of the material, it depends on the elasticity of the material. Um, so even temperature, or the temperature of the gas of, of air, um, will affect the, the speed of sound. Light, light is not this, um, it's not a pressure wave. Light is, is, is basically a fundamental particle. So one ray of light is, is typically called a photon. And uh, light is, is it's an electromagnetic disturbance. Light doesn't need a medium to travel. No information can propagate faster than the speed of light. Uh, if, if you have a light that's going through um, a media, it can travel slower than that. Um, but the, the, the speeds are totally incomparable. So, so sound will travel, so I gave that example, um, in air at 340 meters per second. Um, light will travel through a vacuum at 300 million meters per second. So the totally different scales. And you normally don't notice this on a day-to-day -day basis you start to notice a small delay, and especially with, with lightning. So that's the one that people are typically aware of, that whenever you see light, you'll always see lightning before you hear it. Because at, at that point, typically, my, typically lightning will be you know, a mile away, two miles away. And that's a great enough distance that that speed difference becomes apparent to your, to your brain.